girl shit. Raw girl shit. Raw girl shit. Hey y'all, today is Friday. I don't know what this vlog is gonna be. I'm just vlogging for y'all. So yeah, today is Friday. I'm on my way to go pick up my little sister from my godmom and then I'm gonna meet my mom to get her because my little sister been with me for like a week now and she needs to go back home because her school starts on Tuesday. Last night I went out so I needed someone to keep her while I was out. So I'm about to go get her now and then we're gonna meet my mom to go get something to eat. We've seen this sushi place on Instagram. We're gonna try to go there. I'm not a real big sushi fan. I just started getting into sushi, but the place is so cute. So hopefully it's not like too busy because I really wanna go. Like, let me show y'all. Don't that look so cool? So yeah, we're gonna try to go there and Jordan loves sushi. I'm not gonna tell her where we're going, but she definitely is gonna be excited. But y'all, let me tell y'all about my night. So I went out last night. I got so drunk and i didn't get home till like 5 a.m we went out and then we went to the strip club i had so much fun like i had so much fun and some of the stuff i like don't remember but i had so much fun and i'm not gonna lie i'm still a little a little lit right now <laughs> anyways Nicki minaj single came out megan album came out so y'all know what that means y'all i'm really tired like we're waiting on happy hour happy hour starts at three so yeah we're gonna try to get the boat like what i showed y'all but yeah we're just looking at the menu i don't know about y'all but i don't do no raw sushi pop-up shop they have like a pop-up shop slash store in houston i really had no idea about this today i'm going and i'm going vip yes honey sorry i said sheen it's really she in so yes that's why i'm going it's 10 40 and she told me to be there by 11. i really was trying to be there earlier i'm not gonna lie y'all i really didn't feel like picking up this camera at first i had to get myself together because something happened this morning and it really just really made me mad like i'm not gonna say it made me mad but it just made me be like i'm a businesswoman no to not play with people's time. If you feel or know that you're gonna play with their time, then you need to let them know. So my time was played with earlier. It don't even really be that, y'all. It just be the, you could've let me know. Some people can just let me know something and I might be mad in that moment, but I'm gonna get over it because you was you you was real and you let me know. You know what I'm saying? You let me know. But I hate when people don't let me know anything and just don't communicate. That shit pissed me off. I absolutely hate when people don't communicate with me because I communicate, I communicate too much. I overly communicate. So I just don't like when people don't communicate with me. And if you don't communicate with me, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to do business with you. I don't want to do nothing with you because you don't know how to communicate. And the stuff I have going on, the stuff that I'm trying to have going on, like I need, I, 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 I need people who can communicate and just be there and show up and we're not gonna get into that we're gonna be positive and continue to have a good day it be the smallest things but they really mean so much y'all so yeah i was kind of like not in the mood this morning i just don't like when people try to play with my time some people really think i'm mean but i'm really not mean it's just the things that people do that make me just be closed off i'm really too nice bitch i'm a star i got these niggas wishing he say he hungry this pussy the kitchen yeah that's my doubt he gonna sit down and listen call him a trick and he don't get offended he know he giving his money to make it he know it's very expensive Hey y'all, 
y'all it's monday i was so busy yesterday i even forgot to check in with y'all um about how the Shein pop-up went got some items and they gave me an extra gift right here so yeah they had that pop-up it was for three days and i believe they're going to other locations when you sign up for email subscriptions we need to read those y'all because i think that they were promoting it but by email but i was posting when i was there i got a lot of dms that was like where is this when was this and it was the last day like yesterday was the last day that they were having it and i'm just like so they kind of just did exactly what they said pop up like it gave if you weren't following their page or emails or whatever they were really promoting it with this time you just didn't know so yeah that was cool that was a good experience i took pictures so those are on my instagram now um what else did i want to tell y'all so yeah i went to that and then later on i went to my friend's mom 50th birthday party after i left the pop up i came home and i went to sleep and then i just had to hurry up and get ready for the birthday celebration this morning i just got off a zoom call so i'm going to tell y'all more about that when it gets close to time for me to do the content for that partnership i'm not going to give y'all too much info just make sure that you're keeping up with my vlog turn that subscription bell on okay it's like 12 now so me and my boyfriend are about to go get something to eat i'm actually waiting on him jp what is he doing ready to take out these braids i'm starting to get hair depressed i love my braids they're so cute but i never keep a hairstyle in for so long so it's just it's time to switch it up it's time to change but i am going to show y'all some of the stuff that i picked up from Shein while i was there i'm gonna do that later or tomorrow or something like that i really didn't get that much because what they had it wasn't like the website of course so yeah i'm gonna show y'all that some point in this vlog i want y'all to see how my dog's sitting and don't make fun of her haircut she had to get it shaved down again so we could start over um why are you looking like that y'all she thinks she's human look how she's sitting it's wednesday i have a really busy day today like y'all i'm gonna be working all day i have errands to run emails to answer i have things i need to plan today i need to clean my kitchen i need to go grocery shopping i gotta stop by the office because i have some orders to do and there's just a lot of things i have to do today i'm just gonna do them as i do them but today i really want the day to be productive and some point in this video i'm gonna show y'all how y'all can find the um music for your youtube videos i don't know the lit type of music other than the instrumental so i'm gonna show y'all how y'all can find that and i went to the gym this morning i actually woke up at 6 a.m and went to the gym came back home showered ate a little something so yeah i'm really wanting to start my days early because i just feel like i can get more done and also the gym I'm not the type of person that can go to the gym during the day at night like i've came to the conclusion i like the gym in the mornings before i do anything else throughout my day I just don't be having the energy to just like in the middle of the day like let's go to the gym no so i need to do that in the morning and i just also feel like i can just be overall more productive and get a lot of more things done if i wake up so i'm gonna try this waking up thing for like two weeks to a month or however long i can go but i'm really gonna try to stay consistent but before i get my day started i did tell y'all i was gonna show y'all what i got from she in the other day and i'm gonna show y'all a couple other things that i have so like i said i didn't really just shop 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 i was just chatting just looking around trying to get content so i really didn't like shop till i drop but i did get some cute things that i'm definitely gonna wear and i will have all these things listed down below for y'all so if you're interested in purchasing you can okay get that toy out of here she always got her toys on my cream carpet no ma'am she be shredding them and they just be everywhere now so the first thing i got was this green bucket hat y'all already seen i actually wore this when i went so yeah super cute giving very much summer and winter but y'all know me i break the rules so i just wear what i want what i want to wear okay so yeah this is very cute i love the lime green to it and love how it's furry i got two more bucket hats so i'm gonna show y'all the hats this is your stuff first. so this is the other bucket hat that i grabbed and i grabbed this one I kind of like becoming like a bucket hat girl, low key, just a little bit. Other than the hats, I grabbed me some flip flops. I just liked how these flip flops looked. They were so cute and chunky. Y'all know I love me some chunky like platform type of shoes. So I seen this and was like, yes. The other thing I got was this brown dress. It's kind of inside out because I tried it on. But it's just a brown long dress. And the girl on the picture actually has it on with a bucket hat. But yeah, just a long, simple, nude brown dress. 
something to throw on. I just really feel like I have no clothes. Like I haven't got a chance to just like really just shop. I mean like I be shopping all the time but I feel like I be buying the wrong stuff. Like what I be wanting to wear is a lot of lounge stuff but I don't buy lounge things. Every time I turn around it's nothing that I want to wear. I just be buying like pieces. Other thing I got was this crop top. Just a simple crop top. I love the color to it. It's like a turquoise color. I don't know my camera kind of changing it, but yeah. Really cute. That's what it looks like. She wearing it with a green skirt. Did it go to a, a set? Was this a set? I didn't see the skirt with this, but now I want the skirt. I'm gonna have to see if it come with a skirt. So the last thing is, I told y'all I really did not like just go crazy. I did not. The last thing is so cute though. Like I love it. Like I'm aware. Like so it's this two-piece pink skirt set. And the material is everything, girl. Yes, ma'am. And then it goes with this long skirt, but the skirt has a slit in it right here. So super cute. And it's my favorite color, so y'all already know. <laughs> y'all already know. This is all the things that I got from the Shein pop-up. Not much, but you know, we always on Shein, so. But overall, I love the experience. I love how Shein are popping up at places. I really hope that they can open more stores. I really don't even know if they actually have stores anywhere, but this was so cute. And it actually looked like a store more than a pop-up. Like, it was so cute, so yeah. And y'all, I forgot, I got a gift from them. So this was my gift. It just has a couple things, headband, hair accessories, this looks like a makeup bag, um, coin pouch, um, okay, this is my fan, I don't know why my fan in here, I just be throwing stuff together. Some lip gloss, I had no idea she in had makeup products and stuff, and they had that actually displayed at the pop-up, so yeah, they gave me some lip gloss, I opened that already, earrings, looks like a coaster like a brush um, cup or something like that and yeah shout out to she in so also over the week i got some new perfume from dossier i'm not gonna open this just yet because y'all gonna see it in another video another package that came in was from kiss so cute I already opened it y'all so if y'all follow me on instagram and seen that's what this is they sent me some lashes. This is a little travel size mirror. I got three pair of lashes. And then I got two lash glues and the mirror. So thank you kids for sending me the Masterpiece Collection. I know I love me some lashes. These are a little smaller than what I wear, but I definitely can see myself wearing these because they're like more on the fluffy, like wispy side like I like. So if I wanna go for more like a simple look, here we go, boo. Next thing that I want to show y'all is from Puma. I don't think I've started vlogging or anything when I worked with Puma before, but I have worked with Puma before. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen. So yeah, y'all, that's me. My hair was very short. Um, so that was my first time working with Puma. I did a campaign with the shoes and they had an event in Houston. And of course the girl went. So I was sent some more shoes, three pair of shoes this time. Okay. Thank you Puma again. I'm going to be super busy, but I'm going to make sure that I give y'all some footage of all the things that's coming up for me, everything that I'm uh, going to be doing. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Cause yeah, it's about to get lit. So I'm not really going to open these shoes because I haven't done the video that I need to do for them but I'm gonna give y'all like a little sneak peek. So basically the shoes are suede and this is a red pair. I believe this, the other two boxes have pictures on the side. Okay, yeah, a baby pink pair. I have a black pair. I cannot wait to open these and try these on, but like I said, I have to do a video of me basically unboxing them. That's all that I wanna show y'all right now. I really need to go ahead and get out of the house because like I said, I have a lot to do. So I will see y'all soon. Hey y'all, I'm back home. I finished everything that I wanted to do today. I even did like extra stuff. So I'm feeling good right now, whatever. Like promise, I'm about to show y'all how to get the cool music on your videos. First thing first, I'm about to turn the camera around one second, but first thing you need to do is log into SoundCloud. If you don't have a SoundCloud, then you need to make a login. This is really not hard y'all. Most people use SoundCloud. I don't know about anything else. I just know about SoundCloud, so yeah. Okay, y'all should be able to see my computer. So, for example, a lot of the times you could just look up a song. So, let's type in Beyonce 
rework. Some songs would say rework and some will not. Basically what you have to do is just really listen and see and then to test out if it's non-copyrighted or not, you can upload the song to YouTube and then after it's done checking, it will tell you if it's copyrighted or not. So let's just listen to this one. So obviously that doesn't sound like the original Girls Love Beyonce song. So if you're interested in that one, what you would do is copy the link. Once you copy the link, you're going to type in your Safari download SoundCloud. And basically you're going to download this song. So let's paste the link. Download. And then there it is. And then you'll download it. Then it should be right there on your downloads. So I'm about to show y'all what I mean. So we're going to create a new movie. And then, so basically what I do is just get a regular background and add the song to the background. And just go to like where the end of the song is. And then I'm going to save this. I'm just going to put test and save it to the downloads. So once that's done saving, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. I'm gonna make sure it's unlisted. And then I'm just gonna wait till the checks are running to see if I can use a song or not. While that's loading, I'm gonna show y'all how else to find music because sometimes when you type in the artist and rework, um, sometimes they don't come up. Well, at least for me, they don't come up. I actually follow a couple people. I have remixes by DJ Kawamzi. He has a lot of remixes. Let's see. So this one is the song could have been, but do y'all see how it's like extra beats and stuff behind? So do y'all see how it's like a different beat? It's going to be her song, but it's an extra beat along with that. That's what makes it non-copyrighted. So I don't upload and check my songs every time unless I'm unsure if it's non-copyrighted or not. But just to be sure, it's always good to upload them and just see because you would hate to edit a whole video and then wait for it to upload to YouTube and then it says copyrighted. Like you will be so mad. It's happened to me before. So y'all hear the song. So I'm pretty sure this one would be non-copyrighted, but again, if I wanted to use it, I would check. Also, you can go here and you can add a playlist. So you can make a playlist of songs that you want to check and you can make a playlist of songs that you've already checked you could just name it like youtube songs or something like that so you know which ones you need to check and you know which ones you've already checked it'll just save time when you just want to add music and don't want to always look for new music so another thing you could do is come to the side here um and you can see what fans also like right here so you can go to their profile and just see what kind of songs they have it looks like he has some remixes you can also see what this person actually reposts, like songs they reposted. Let's see. Oh, hold on, everybody. Everybody. Y'all, I found us a song. A new one from Beyonce. Hey. Okay, y'all, so the first song is done. I'm not sure why that took so long. That took longer than usual. But anyways, y'all, hold on. Because this one, this one I'm actually going to, I'm going to download and check this one. I got to check this one because, hold on. Beyonce song just came out. And you can also go to their popular track. Because the popular tracks are probably ones that a lot of people use. Like this one says Rihanna. Let's see. Okay, so I just added that one to my playlist because I got to check that out. But this repost, though, let me go to their page. Who this? Okay, so Marco Pedro. Y'all can go ahead and search him. Um, I'm going to follow him because I already like what he didn't gave me. So that's basically what you do. Type in songs or you can actually go to the ones that I've been showing you and just go to their repost, who they're following, what fans also like. And just basically do that y'all so let's go to youtube and upload my test so now we're just uploading the one that we um 
saved at the beginning. That's basically it. Some days I do like spend like an hour or two just trying to find music. So when it does come to editing, I'm not spending a lot of my time trying to find music because that does take time. And if you want to make sure they're 100% not gonna get a copyright claim then you'll have to do the uploading and waiting to check it and all that so that's how you find music for your youtube videos like popular music trendy music stuff like that i'm about to check the break my soul one because i want to use that one motivation okay y'all so the song at the beginning it uploaded fast it was just checking and there's no restrictions so we can definitely use that first I'm definitely gonna save that first song for myself for real and then I need to check the Beyonce one So I can use that one too. I gotta see when I'm gonna take these braids out. I get my hair done this weekend I Gotta wash my hair blow dry my hair do all that, but I love the braids while they lasted They was cute. They still are really really cute But y'all know I don't keep a hairstyle in for long and just for the things that I have coming up I really want my hair to be different hey y'all it's thursday and i'm about to watercolor some bundles so first i'm gonna show y'all these bundles that i received first let me open all of them so i'm just gonna watercolor them jet black nothing tops off that jet black look and i'm actually taking these braids down today and getting my hair done tomorrow which me getting these installed will probably be in my next vlog but yeah so i have three bundles i'm getting a quick weave tomorrow with these bundles hopefully i can get my hair to kind of blend in and match at the top here are the bundles y'all do y'all see this hair <laughs> yo y'all i'm finna i'm finna mess them up like look at this hair here is where the hair is from i will have all the details to this hair and the link and everything in my description so make sure you check that out this isn't just any type of hair y'all this is cambodian hair this hair is raw not processed nothing like that you get what you get and y'all can clearly see that when you're looking at the texture and how it looks so good and natural i just know this gonna be so cute thank you to the i'm a J. hopefully i'm saying that right thank you for sending me these bundles i love me some curly hair like this hair is going in tomorrow hair appointment is booked baby i'm ready i went to the hair store before i came home and i'm going to use the kiss colors to watercolor it i just have my dye bucket i think i got this from dollar tree so i just use this anytime i'm watercoloring hair i'm going to fill this up a little bit with some hot water and then I'm gonna put, I don't know if I wanna put all two in there. I need to see if I have like a half a bottle of another one, cause I think I do. But yeah, I'm just gonna pour that inside with the water, stir it up a little bit, and then I'm just gonna put the whole entire bundle in there and just let it soak for a few minutes. So here are the bundles, y'all. They look way darker than what they were. That's all I really wanted. I don't always watercolor my hair jet black, but I do notice a difference. I'd rather have the jet black hair than the like number two or whatever natural color that it comes in. I love the jet black, so yeah. The hair is done. I'm gonna let it dry some more overnight. And if I need to blow dry tomorrow for my appointment, I will. This gonna be so cute. So now I gotta take down my hair. And I'm just so glad I don't have a lot of braids because I would not be taking this down tonight if I did. I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. I think I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. So after I wash it, I could just blow dry it. It'll have a fresh blowout when I go get it done tomorrow. So let me see how many. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just eleven braids, y'all. That's nothing. I still have to cut a little bit down at the bottom. My hair is not that short, but not that long. So I'm probably gonna cut like here. I did recently just get it cut a little bit. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna cut here a little bit down. If I take these braids down, I'm done for today. I'm about to just start off with my edges, putting water on them, combing them out. I'm 
yourself, figure out what you want to do. Um, don't focus on any other being except yourself. It's your world anyway. Everybody else is living in it, really. Who I heard that on somebody. I think Brianna Monique, one of her friends, was talking, and he was like, "This is it's my world. Everybody else is just living in it for real. Like figuring out the bigger picture. What is the bigger picture? It's really you. Like I just I was jokingly saying like it's your world, but no, seriously, it is your world. And just remembering like how do you want your world to look? You know, um, do you, number one. Nobody is coming to save you. It's making me emotional just talking about it. Nobody is coming to save you. So you have to do the inner work. You have to do the work yourself. You have to figure out what is it that I can do for myself to save me, to keep myself thriving, to keep myself going. Whether that's working out, whether that's eating healthy, as typical and cliche as it may sound, like it may sound like, oh, this is a bad girl thing to do. But no, this is a thing that you need to do to keep yourself going. Because the world that we live in is so much crazy stuff going on. You will always be depressed if you always like you know feeding into what's going on around your environment you know what i'm saying whatever your environment looks like so my biggest thing is just i keep it in the back of my head whenever i'm having my toughest moments and i feel like oh my gosh i don't know how i'm gonna be able to get through this is chelsea nobody's coming to save you nobody's coming to save you that's just the reality of it so i have to make a life for myself that i am proud of i have to develop myself into the person the woman that i am proud of um and i have to be able to lay in that bed at night and be perfectly fine with the person that i am becoming and so if i'm finding that you know it's a little bit harder than i would like to what i do personally I, i'm listening to some self-talk every day i'm listening to some um self-help self-help books every day. I'm listening to stuff that feeds my mind and help me to um, just get myself back on track. I'm working out. I'm putting my energy into other things that kind of distract me from what's going on. I, I can get crazy, so just figuring out what it is that you really like and just creating that peace. Finding some type of peace within yourself. Bro, girl, shit. Bro, girl, shit. Look.